take lunch. This Boeing 787, better known as the Dreamliner, was the center of attention at Kenya Airways headquarters. American delegates led by U.S. Secretary of Commerce for International Trade, Gilbert Kaplan, inspected the aircraft with a team of Kenyan cabinet secretaries. This is the economy class and about 234 passengers will be seated right here. Now, passengers will feel as if they are at an altitude of about 6,000 feet, which means they will have less headache, less fatigue, and at the same time will be able to enjoy their flight. KQ plans to fly this aircraft from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to New York's JF Kennedy International Airport, targeting tourists and business travelers. And we're going to use two 787s to operate this flight because the flight that departs to New York and arrives needs to be there and then departs back. But by the time it lands, we have to already start another aircraft because we cannot match it within 24 hours. I think it's safe to say that Kenya Airways is really doing its part as it finalizes preparation for the, from the, for the new direct flight to the U.S. Really government has recently implemented a raft of recommendations by the U.S. government to enhance security, among them separation of passenger arrival from departure terminals, clearing the flight path and fencing off the airport. It now has its focus on revamping Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. We are going to remodel Terminal B, Terminal C and Terminal D. This is to ensure that within a few years from now, the capacity of this airport will be enhanced from the current 7.5 million to 12 million passengers. This is a process which is never ending, yeah, so to speak. So it's not like one day then someone comes and just it's finished. It's going to be supervised by TSA, the, the, the Transport Safety Authority. KQ anticipates the direct flights will increase its annual revenues by at least 10% beginning 2019. Brenda Kirubuke, 24 Business.